social networks need our attention at all hours, and in many cases, we give it to them. It is impossible to live without them, even if we want to, to in today's digital world. This can make us become dependent on social media and can often create a feeling that we're constantly missing out. As time goes by, the negative effect this can have on us become more observable. Turning FOMO, the fear of missing out, into JOMO, the joy of missing out, depends on disconnecting in order to connect offline. This can help us to find more joy in our lives. Coinciding with the growth of social networks as a socialization tool, the development of, of a phenomenon called FOMO has become more popular. According to some studies, 56% of social network users suffer from FOMO, the fear of missing out, which is related to the anxiety we feel when we think that we're not connected. This feeling is becoming more apparent in society. As opposed to FOMO, JOMO can transform the way we live our lives. Embracing this feeling can help us to find pleasure of missing things to focus on our own needs and wants. This can help us to feel more grounded and aware of what is around us. It is important to remember how social networks affect our lives and how we tend to gain validation through them. How can disconnecting can help us to reconnect again? JOMO is a response to acknowledging the effect of FOMO, escaping virtual standards and the realization to value real life more. Christina Crook, a writer, was one of the first people to begin using the term of JOMO. Her work explained the essence of it. You have to go to a place because you really want to go there, not because it's fashionable on social networks. Or you want to buy something because you love it, not because everyone uses it on their Instagram. But embracing JOMO is easier said than done. How could you feel JOMO? You can start by disconnecting from online world and limiting your activity on social media. Also, you could reflect before uploading things on social media. Are you doing it because you want to or to impress others? It is important to recognize the joy of little real things in life. Practice your favorite hobby, meet with your friend without using phone or take a walk. Enjoy your life offline. Focusing on yourself and on the real world could help you not only to disconnect but also help you to appreciate the world around you. Don't let the virtual world cloud your real world. Step by step, you can feel more disconnected for the better.